hundreds of companies being financed at multi-billion dollar valuations. Leaders of these companies, I won't mention names, you know who they are, who are actually think they're building God in a box. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. The comments from the Yahoo Finance's opening bid podcast. Tom Siebel, C3 AI founder, chairman, and CEO joined Brian Sazi to discuss the money being poured into AI startups, driving up their valuations with billions of dollars flowing into AI companies. How will they balance profit goals while also mitigating AI risks. To discuss, we want to bring in Navrina Singh of Credo's AI CEO and founder. Navrina, it's great to have you here on Yahoo Finance. Let's start with the sky high valuations because I think what a lot of investors, what many of our audience are trying to figure out is how sustainable those valuations are considering that there are governance concerns just to start there. So, so what do you make of some of this euphoria that has certainly been playing out and the money being poured into these startups? Well, thank you so much for having me. You know, certainly if you just look at the data from last quarter, $4 billion was poured into investments in generative AI startups. And we believe that to really get long-term sustainable value, it's not just about the use cases and sales, marketing, drug discovery, but it's really around the foundational principles of AI governance. We are seeing day in and day out the AI risks are increasing and also it's really critical for these companies to ensure that they're going to be compliant with emerging regulations. So I think for us right now, what we are excited about is how organizations that are betting early and big on AI governance are really going to show up as winners in the long run. Rina, when do you expect to get clarity from a balance sheet perspective on the money that some of these firms are putting into making sure that they can uh, be in line with any regulation that could come down the pipeline here? Obviously, we don't have clarity on that now, but moving forward, how long do you think that's going to take? You know, uh, one of the things that maybe we need to demystify is most of the organizations we work with, Global 2000s, large enterprises, they are investing in AI governance, not just to be regulatory compliant. They are actually investing in AI governance as a foundation of trust. They are finding that if they are able to deliver these AI services with the right governance guardrails, with the transparency at its center, with the understanding of where they are sourcing their data from, they in the long term are able to build that trust. So I do want to highlight it's not just around regulatory compliance, it's about delivering and building that trust with artificial intelligence, which is absolutely critical at this moment. So Navrita, what is the best way or the right way to go about that? And I bring that out there. There's a piece in the journal right now talking about Meta and some of the other uh, tech peers pushing back on recent EU regulations, saying that their rules are going to threaten to squelch the AI boom and it's not good for innovation. And it actually, in fact, stifles it. What's your response to an argument like that? You know, it's interesting. Uh, governance for the longest time has had a really bad rep. Uh, it's seen as a, a speed bump in innovation. And we are strong believers that if you're starting, especially with an emerging technology like artificial intelligence, with the right guardrails in place, what you end up seeing is you end up being the long-term winner. So we are finding in the companies that we are working with, Global 2000, large enterprises deploying Gen AI at scale, that they are actually winning with governance and it's not stifling innovation. They are seeing new product development. They are able to really uh, take Gen AI from a concept into production pretty quickly. But again, we are living in a show me moment. You know, show me what Gen AI can do for revenue drivers and we believe that governance is going to enable that innovation. All right, Navrina Singh, Credo AI CEO and founder, thanks so much, we appreciate it.